I don't know how they did it, but someone called Bernie have made the best value watch that I've probably ever handled. Welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and give the video a like if you like it. Today we're reviewing this. It's the Bernie AM139M. It's their homage to the Jager La Coultra Polaris. Full disclosure, they sent this in for review and I don't have to send it back, but as you know, that won't affect my opinion nor how I express it. The brand got no copy approval and they're seeing this review at the exact same time you are. I don't know how this company stay afloat given what they're packing in spec-wise for this price. I'm gonna be doing my review based on the four categories that I always do. If you want to see how I review my watches and the categories and all that sort of stuff, click on this video or this video. This video. I'll do it the same way as ever, but I won't go into quite so much surgical detail. Anyway, let's get on with the review. Okay, so if you haven't seen a JLC Polaris in the flesh, don't worry because no one actually owns a JLC. You merely mention them occasionally for the next generation. Bernie pretty much get this spot on, barring the day-day complication and the placement of the logo itself but they're not getting any points for originality here. That said, it's still a really nicely done step dial with a really amazingly beautiful sunburst effect that shimmers in the sun. So if you live in the UK like me, buy a nice lamp. It's a compressor style dive watch, which isn't a style of dive watch that's homaged that often, but that means it's not something that you can necessarily dress up all that much. However, the polished facets and the chamfers on the case Combined with that sunburst dial, the polished indices, and the handset, it's a bit flashy. The stainless steel, though, has actually been hardened. I'm not too up on the technical side of that, but it's basically more scratch resistant because it's on this uh, Diane Vickers rating system. And despite that Diane Vickers rating, it has still got a nice smooth finish to it with no noticeable dodgy edges between the transitions. And even though technically it is a diver, it wouldn't be the most offensive watch to dress up. You cannot hide the dimensions though, it's bang on 42 millimeters. so if your wrist is smaller than my 6.5 inch, this might wear just a bit too big. It also seems thicker than the 13mm height would suggest, possibly down to the blocky design and the vertical brush to the sides of the case. So it's quite big, it's thick, and oh, it's long. Yeah, it's, it is long. Don't use that quote against me. The 49mm lug-to-lug measurement means that it's definitely at the upper limits of what my wrist can handle, and on the supplied rubber strap, which is as comfy as hell by the way, it does look a bit long. No sign buckle or crown either, but I can forgive that for- Drum roll, please. 95 pounds. That wasn't quite as dramatic as I thought it'd be. Let's try it again. 95 pounds. <gasps> All right, everyone shut up. It's just the price of the watch. It's in the thumbnail for Christ's sake. Let's get on with the review. 95. Okay, yeah, that is frankly a ludicrous price for this watch. We'll talk more about that a bit later. In terms of specs, there are a few compromises, obviously. Uh, the aforementioned unsigned crown and buckle being a couple, but there's also the movement. It's an automatic Miyota 8205. You can see it through the Sapphire Exhibition case back, and I only call it a compromise because it only winds in one direction, meaning in very quiet environments, you can sometimes hear it spinning. Take a listen, I think it might have something about it actually. Sorry about that. That is embarrassing, that actually. That is embarrassing. It's running at an acceptable plus 10 seconds per day, and there is a wee bit of beat error. I only tested it in one position, flat on its back, but that's the same position I tested your mum in. It's not running badly by any means. Also, it hacks, it hand winds, and it has a day date function, which is handy, even if it does look a bit out of place on this dial, in my opinion. Also, weirdly, the date disc has two languages English and English. 
The other obvious compromise is the bog standard one year warranty. You shouldn't have any issues if you do get this watch wet mind. It's 200 meters water resistant and the screw down crown has a decent reassuring action. Likewise, moving the bi-directional inner rotating bezel is simple enough thanks to the fact that it's not actually a screw down crown up here at two o'clock, but nor is it gonna move if you catch it on something. It's got enough resistance that you'll also be able to line it up wherever you like to, so no alignment issues either. Back to that price, so I took a very brief look at putting together a watch from scratch with the same movements, sourcing all the parts through AliExpress. Obviously this isn't completely scientific, but I costed up some generic parts, starting with the Miyota 8205 movement which was about £22.53 at the time, uh, a rubber strap for about £8.92, the case for around £34 or so, an actual box for the watch, just like Bernie do, but Bernie's is a bit basic plus a handset and movement stem and last but not least the dial of course and i costed the whole thing and it came to no no we're not doing the drum roll thing 97 pounds 34. let's just call it 99 pounds now i know that bernie will have better suppliers and they'll have a more streamlined system for putting their watches together and selling them and shipping them and all of that stuff but i mean come on that deserves some watch magic None of the parts I sourced were branded or particularly interesting, unlike with this Bernie, which has the hardened case, and it has the sapphire crystal both front and back, which is something that I've not really seen at this sort of price before. Even the loom is like that of a watch costing five times this price. It's BGW9 and it shines brightly and for an alarmingly long time. It's evenly applied and it means it's as legible in the dark as it is in bright light. Oh, and it is legible in bright light thanks to the AR coating, so you will hopefully avoid all of that fleck though. But it's not all sunshine and scratch resistance and glass. There are some negatives as well, or what the Danish call negatif. At less than 100 quid, I can't be too pernickety, but I mentioned a couple of things like how much that day date annoys me. I think a ghost ape position and a more balanced style would be better. And look, nobody will thank me for saying this, but some text above the six would be nice. Even just the word automatic in like a nice font. I know JLC do it on some of the Polaris models. I mentioned the unsigned crowns, but the only other physical thing that I'd change is the fitted strap sometimes can have the slightest little air gap between it and the case of the watch. Fortunately, it's only visible if you look really closely and not visible at all if it's sitting nicely on your wrist. Bernie, the name, it's not a bad name in theory. Yeah. Marge, I agree with you in theory. In theory, communism works. In theory. Bernie, at least to me here in the UK, sounds like the name of your mum's friend who has some sweets on her coffee table and you do not know how long they've been there. This Bernie, however, got its name in 1996 when it was founded, when the Chinese owner visited the Swiss de facto capital, Bern, and just loved the watch culture there. So Bernie is kind of the adjectival form of the noun, Bern. The watches are then Bern-like. So it's like Bern, like a Swiss watch, except they're not. And that's kind of the point. This costs less than 100 quid at the moment and has the sort of specs that, if it was Swiss, would cost a whole lot more than that. That's part of why this watch scores a very respectable 7 out of 10 on the Loom Pip Diana Vickers scale. Solid, if completely photocopied design, decent movement at the price, which is insane, plus solid finishing, fit and comfort on the wrist. Not that I wouldn't have some more dial text, no date window and maybe a slightly different name. So if this is the sort of watch that you'd like in your collection, please use my AliExpress affiliate link below in the description. It'll really help out the channel and you won't pay any more for the watch. And what about the watch? Is there anything that you'd change about it? And is there a better value proposition than this right now on AliExpress or anywhere else? Let me know in the comments and I'll speak to you down there. Thanks so much for getting this far and please subscribe if you haven't done so already and give the video a like if you like it. I'll see you next time. That is embarrassing.